Week 26. Nuts. Okay. Well, I'm three. I'll get through this either. So, let's go back to our Nogi setup. So, again, from this position, Dane's doing his usual stunt. He's controlling my biceps. His elbows is on the outside. So, we talked about how I'm going to, he's going to track me with his arm. This one reaches across. Then I find this. Sometimes I can lift my hip to push this in. Um, we also talked about how once I push it this way, I'm not trying to pull it across. Remember the goal was to get his tricep here. Okay, so we talked about how I can push this in, make my single necktie, foot comes in the hip, and now I can just start to climb into my high guard <coughs> positions. We, we, get, we get to here. Okay, so really two things on finishing the armbar from guard. One, posture control, and two, angle. I mean, there's no way, if I'm facing Dean here, the minute I try to actually get an armbar from there, his arms out, I need to be perpendicular to him. The other thing is, also, if I get perpendicular, the minute I lift my leg, he's posturing, and, I'm, and I've lost it again. So. We talked about this last time. Once I get into the top lock position, my left arm comes over and physically grabs the armpit. Second one comes under, and we're here through the posture bro. Now it's all about angle. So we can do this a few different ways. I can use that underhook just to turn. Now watch, at the minute my left arm is controlling Dane's posture, try to posture bro. But as I start to cut angle, my right leg starts to control the posture. Try the posture now, bro. Watch what I do in my left knee. I physically bring my knee towards my chest as I clamp down. Try the posture, bro. Posture, seriously? Okay, so from that position, my hand's free. Okay, why? I need this. The problem is now, Dean, he can't posture, but he can come towards me. Yes, and now, yeah, keep coming. And it's now, it's very hard for me to get my leg over. That's why this hand's there, it's just pushing his head that way, and then I'm in. And then I hit So again, just there, bro. So, two concepts on finishing the armbar from close guard. Whether this is gi, whether it's no gi, one, control his posture, and two, I need angle. Firstly, my grip, my, his upper body, but when I switch to angle, my legs then control his posture. And then I get angle, and then I push in his head so he can't stack me. So again, Dane's tracking me. So now my arm finds his wrist. We find the tricep. Again, it just depends on the battle. You know, trying to get his elbow to the inside. Sometimes that can be easy just by putting my foot on the hip and climbing here. And now I can just physically lift my hip and get this to the inside. Control the head. And now it's just a top rock. I'm climbing and climbing and climbing. Till they get to here again. I like to cover the leg that's on the shoulder with the leg that's under the armpit, and now we make that initial grip. I like just turn this way, bro. I like coming over the head, and I like that underhook, underhook grip. So we're here, posture. <coughs> I'm good. <coughs> so now we need angle. You can keep the grip and come under the leg, that's another way to get angle. All right, but if you have the underhook, sometimes it's easy. I like then switching from upper body control of posture to lower body. So watch, from this position, I start to curl my right foot and my left knee's coming this way. That makes sense. I still have the underhook here to get my angle. The only thing Dane can do, he can't posture, try to posture bro, he can't posture with my legs, they've wedged. The only thing he can do to stop the arm bar is start stacking me this way. That's why my hand is here. Right. Notice the way my hips engage, try to pull your arm out, bro. So as I do that, then I let go of the underhook and I find the wrist. Then this comes over. Okay, so details of finishing from here is heels down, pinch your knees, and lift your hips. And then I have it. Biggest mistake people make is they fear the stack. Um, say Dean plants his right foot on the mat and starts bringing my head in. Oh, that's wrecking my back. So the detail is. Physically lift your hips. All right, stack. That's all I'm doing there. I'm still control of the elbow there. And now we're in. Okay. So let's add that in to the drill.